коллеги, добрый день. Я даже не ожидала, что так меня представить. Good morning. I couldn't even expect of such warm presentation introduction. Thank you very much for very hospitable welcome. It's my first time ever in to Russia, not only Tatarstan. So. I'm very pleased and I'm very happy to be here with you and it, I'm privileged to make a presentation and to share um, um, uh, the, with you the information about the courses that are being conducted uh, in our university. I'll be making a presentation in uh, uh, Russian and the, all the slides will be given in English and it will be easier for interpreters and colleagues who will have a general idea of what's going on. Uh, my name is Aigul, I'm working in the higher school of the uh, Nazarbayev University in the department of uh, uh, additional uh, training and advanced training of the and those who are involved in this further training in for those who are involved in the teacher training since 2014 we're holding the courses for leadership in education we attended your university that year and that time I represented that course for the leadership of the universities nowadays I would like to focus more on the further training for the teachers of schools uh, the topic of the, uh, the teacher training in the context of uh, three language education of the Republic of Kazakhstan. The plan of the presentation. So I would like to outline the policy of the three-language education, trilingual education in Kazakhstan. It will focus or the further education training on chemistry, biology, physics, and information technologies. And I would dwell on at the end of my presentation on how we conducted the internal audit of these courses efficiency and what the results we have received. Uh, it was interesting for us how the teachers on this side are implementing and putting it into practice. And the second issue that was very important and relevant for us it was what are the difficulties that impede the teacher when introducing, uh, when, when we see the introduction of this reform. I would even say very um, fundamental reform. Uh, okay, so some troubles with the clicker, with the slides. Uh, so in this slide you see the key actors in the implementation of the trilingual uh, education in the Republic, that's Minister of Education and Science of the Republic of Kazakhstan, that's the National Academy of Education named after Alton Sarin, uh, that's the National Center for Professional Development, Arleo, but I haven't mentioned here another uh, Katev and uh, Kazakh-Turkish Lyceum that will, uh, has changed its name, Nazarbayev Intellectual school and Nazarbayev University. A few words I would like to say about the importance of establishment of such large-scale projects as Nazarbayev Intellectual School and Nazarbayev University, because these institutions have uh, fully fledged and autonomous uh, institutions in implementation of these programs, starting with enrolling and ending up with the graduation of these uh, people, uh, the choosing of the speciality and qualification, the assessment, so the whole thing, the full scope of all the activities, and they are fully autonomous. Uh, institutions. And that is why in 2011 there was issued a decree of the Republic of Kazakhstan on the status of these uh, establishments, enterprises in Nazarbayev Intellectual Schools, Nazarbayev Fund, and Nazarbayev University. And the two major documents that uh, we are um, focused on are based on uh, in the implementation of trilingual education, that's the state program for the development of education and science of the Republic of Kazakhstan for 2016-2019 and the roadmap for development of trilingual education for 2015-2020. Uh, speaking uh, about the of this this state program for 2016-2019 I wouldn't uh, focus on all of them I'll just uh, highlight the basic points so the stage development of uh, these reforms in all trilingual education the introduction of the experimental schools experiments the niche uh, um, institutions and the Kazakh Turkish Lyceum so the development of the uh, domestic textbooks and the, uh, the complex also on the uh, national language teaching that's the standard has been already develop developed and we're using it in our work the adaptation of the foreign textbooks and how do we train how in order to introduce the trilingual education so these are graduates of the Balashak program maybe you heard about that 
uh, you heard about the, in, since 1994, we're implementing this program and the graduates of this program are involved in all spheres of education. That's the targeted training of the teachers in the uh, universities and colleges, the advanced training of the teachers following the metho methodology of in four subjects. So we hide, uh, outlined four subjects for the senior classes of secondary school because the, when the people choosing his future profession, uh, according to these subjects, they will be uh, given this additional training as according to their wish uh, in the English language starting with the 2019. So now we are preparing, but we'll uh, be working at a full capacity in 2019 and be delivering the education in three languages. As for the roadmap of the trilingual education development, that's the monitoring of the needs of the uh, teaching staff, the development of the plan for training and improving the qualification for the implementation of the trilingual education, the development of the and the further development of the qualification, the, the, uh, the language training, the development of the qualification requirements of the teachers, and the improvement of the qualification of uh, of the for the plan for 2016-2019 to uh, for the training of 2,000 people representing the teaching staff of the colleges and universities who will be directly involved in the classwork. And for the the next slide, uh, last year, in 2016, we trained 675 school teachers in four subjects in all 16 regions of the uh, country, and I haven't mentioned here in the in the English version, 75 teachers were uh, trained at the professional development center, it was purely English one, but we tried to expand it, and even last year, when the teachers were not ready for being trained in the English language, we provided very intense intense course in English, intensive course in English, a methodology of teaching the subject, that's so the very basics. And the modern approaches to the teacher training through the video lectures of our professors of the high school of the Uni Nazarbayev University. So we have Michael here, the, the deputy dean on the scientific work of our high school. He is actively involved in the development of this program and implement, in its implementation. Uh, oh, as for the 2017, we are planning to improve the qualification of uh, 12,500 school teachers, 5,000 uh, will be trained at the premises of Nazarbayev University, 320 will be trained in Nazarbayev intellectual schools. It will take about 10 months for them to train on the premises of this institution, so three, men, three months, uh, uh, three, 756 people on uh, the very program for almost a year, and for the Ustas, 1,587 people, that's uh, English language courses on the competitive basis, 4,828. That these are the for the organizations who want to like to participate in this uh, in further advanced qualification. They can apply for this program as well. Of the aims and uh, the goals of the program. In order to uh, prepare the science teachers to teach subjects and the uh, comprehensive schools, the goals of the program improve the participants and language proficiency, meeting the elementary level of the CFR, improving the uh, communicative competences, training the of the natural sciences, and teach them this uh, academic English and the subject terminology, and teach basics of the teaching subject contact through content through English. The next slide, you will see the structure of the program and we have compiled it in order to include, it has four models uh, last year, but we have more people, last, uh, last year we have less people, so one model, one model was expelled from, was excluded from this list. We, uh, we just fine-tuned our next, uh, last, pro last year program and we restructured it. First we put English, then it was added up with a second and third module, because academic English and the terminology uh, should be given on the latest stages when they started learning or they have a particular level of their long, uh, lang English language competence. Because people are starting learning language and the English language when they learned ah, the foreign languages like German or any other and you should, uh, should understand that time the English was not that popular and not, not everybody learned it. And uh, we some meet some challenges here and uh, facing some challenges here so that teachers 
who are dealing very hard and they uh, experience some difficulties in learning in uh, the language. So the f Moodle number four that I would like I would like to highlight, it is a one week trainship program on the premises of our uh, the partners university, the the Education University of Hong Kong and Seoul National University. Out of the 675 people, we have selected 118 teachers, those who have enough experience, have very uh, good at English and who are ready to work uh, in this area on the competitive basis. So they were chosen on a competitive basis and all the teachers were involved. It was conducted, the competition was conducted in English, 118 people. So they had a chance to see it in real life how these uh, trilingual education is being implemented in these two countries. Uh, uh, well, expected learning outcomes that we set uh, to ourselves and uh, to teachers were also uh, mastering uh, English uh, on the European criteria, uh, understanding the need for language support for students who study the subject through the English language and knowledge and understanding of the subject general knowledge and academic language. Next slides uh, show uh, in more details the content of the first and second and the third modules. I can't click and uh, change the slides sometimes. Well, the next slide. Intensive English language training. Well, I'm not going to develop on this. And the next module is the content of the uh, le learning in the English language teaching. Well, so it implies uh, uh, pronunciation of the academic terms. Uh, well, comparison of uh, uh, compatibility of different uh, subjects, specific topics. Uh, this uh, well, so compilation of uh, practical tasks and tests and the assessment uh, then the developing of the curriculum in we uh, for every module uh, every module implies a certain uh, certain tasks and well we verify and how well so when we test the knowledge uh, uh, mastering and uh, every teacher has a uh, curriculum and he will also to better understand how he is going to uh, teach next year after the further uh, in, uh, further uh, training and after all the lectures and all the courses uh, the students had to write an essay uh, on a certain specific topic uh, defining the problems and solutions to the problems and all this is analyzed we work with the analysis and then present the results and outcomes to the Minister of Education video lectures and there are uh, some examples and topics uh, on video lectures and it is just a part of them and there are 30 or 40 video lectures I am not going to sound all of them you may simply look through them here I'd like to note that uh, in conducting video lectures and uh, recording video lectures, why did we decide to do it? Why did we decide to come to this format? Well, uh, yes, the teachers are also busy and they also have families and we have to uh, teach them on the place uh, and we tear them off the families and that is why we made the video lectures and after after video lectures, we uh, set a number of tasks and we ask uh, the questions to uh, and test them. And our specialists uh, substitute me on the places and uh, to make them uh, not simply listen to the video lecture and watch it, but to have some feedback from them and to make them analyze the material. On the module abroad, a foreign module, we uh, come to the uh, results or outcomes and 
and the module abroad which uh, they had for a week is introduction of the English language into the mathematical cycle subjects, the organization of the learning process in schools of Hong Kong, and uh, we took into account their opinion of this module. We learned that in South Korea there are good conditions for uh, both teachers and students. It is the technical equipment, the high stages of the teacher, and less paper routine, which is unfortunately still present in our education. And in Korea, the education system, uh, which is subject-oriented, and the, they have the classroom strategies and the framework of teaching in English in non-English speaking countries, and inverted class models, and we use the terminology and chemical programs on modeling. Uh, we uh, created mathematical tasks and physical breaks in English, and some teachers already have curriculum in uh, on chemistry or biology in English, and they started uh, teaching students uh, terminology uh, through seminars, sessions, and they share their experience by learning at the further training. We have held uh, a lot of seminars and uh, which found uh, paper publications uh, which resulted in publications and journals. Presentation of the obtained knowledge they presented this knowledge to their colleagues. They introduced the uh, glossary, the lessons, the uh, preparation with the students of presentations in English, an open lesson. And the, the, uh, on the topic of the role of vitamins in our life was a lesson with elements of inclusive education and teachers of comprehensive schools and gymnasium. Uh, and some studied at chemistry lessons, uh, introducing terms in English. Uh, again, a workshop lesson with the use of English language and for children who want to improve their knowledge of the English language, they have an opportunity to have classes twice a week. In order to assess the effectiveness of the course, uh, these courses we create in our school the groups of people who will deal with scientific component of the course and within the frame of this project we have created a group of five people and we will identify these instruments these are surveys face-to-face -face interview individual interviews focus groups micro preparation monitoring and the organization of round tables and seminars in order to further uh, in, uh, use the results of scientific research and apply them to further courses to understand what was good, what was bad, to, to make some recommendations to headmasters, uh, to us and to the Minister of uh, Education and Science. In the course uh, of uh, surveying uh, among 818 people who participated in the fourth module and participated in online survey uh, and that, that is what they say. Uh, what new have you learned within the course uh, learning? They uh, uh, say the, the clear methodics, uh, methodological techniques presented, methodo uh, the methodology of teaching subjects of the natural mathematical cycle. They increased the level of knowledge of the English language, uh, improved the content of the discipline. In the course of the fourth module, they learned the methods on uh, general uh, um, subjects in Korea and translation of experience to str on str of strategies uh, to in the lessons uh, on uh, foreign language. The question how do you use res uh, obtained knowledge, they answered uh, I applied the terminology of the subject, informed pupils, parents and colleagues about the new system, introduced new terms, started learning uh, uh, terms and applied monitoring, uh, f uh, additional physics classes, and due to this course I uh, raised my level from A1 to A2, and on the biology lessons the students studied uh, additional uh, notebooks and dictionaries to put down new terms and words. 
the same question. Uh, the lesson camp sketch is used on the lessons. They watch video files in the foreign language, fill out, fill out tables in, and diagrams, and they share the information uh, uh, obtained at the methodological councils. The question of difficulties uh, uh, that students had uh, when preparing for classes, they answered that they lacked the knowledge of the English and uh, they were embarrassed of their pronunciation due to, uh, and students uh, feel embarrassed uh, in front of other students and teachers, insufficient language skills, which is another problem when students uh, know the language better than their teachers, and sometimes the teacher is uh, well prepared, but the, uh, the students uh, are, do not have enough knowledge, to, uh, inadequate language skills for students, and uh, there, are, there is a lack of textbooks, and now we uh, design a new book, and in uh, uh, there are books uh, that uh, are designed uh, in completely in the English language, and there are books which are only 20% English, and the books, textbooks do not have the sign assignments in the English language, and they lack time at the lessons to cover all the elements of the English language. The next question, which professional competences would you like to develop in the future, the answer, the majority highlighted the course of uh, thrilingual uh, education, then the system of assessment of the academic achievements of students, information and communication technologies, approaches of developing critical thinking, organization of applied pedagogical research in the classroom and I think it was really useful for us and we were going to work over these uh, issues in the future and there are several pictures of the learning process from last year when we had 165 students and here we see that they write in English, they work in groups and it is completely, uh, the teaching is completely in the English language and here they draw, here they show the new vocabulary uh, and it is Hong Kong, it is learning in Hong Kong, and they also studied in English, 118 person, uh, pupils who were selected, and they were able to perceive information and to master it in the English language, and we uh, encouraged them, uh, and we also we visited uh, the laboratories, and I w attended the inf IT uh, lesson and they uh, shared a lot of, ex of experience how to use it in the class. And it is the chemical laboratory. Thank you for your attention.